Welcome to Real Habitat Designs. Today we're going to talk about creating edge for deer. Deer are creatures of the edge. Where forest meets cuttings, clear cuts, or food plots, or uh, areas that were left in fields, or agricultural, tree lines, things of that nature. What I have behind me is an example of uh, mixing edge where we have weeds right out here and then behind it is very thick cover uh, regeneration new growth and it actually I'll show you in a minute behind where the camera is we have a little bit bigger timber and it's more open in here today I put in some switchgrass plantings that I nursed I did a little experiment I planted switchgrass in pots uh, they're anywhere from three to five inches in height maybe six inches in height right now and I planted the pots today in the ground, spaced them out about uh, two to three feet. And I also planted earlier in the spring switchgrass on the ground. I cleared this, sprayed this, and I've got switchgrass coming here and here. I, my experiment is to see how it comes out, which one grows better, which, which one do I have more growth with uh, throughout the summer into about September. So also going to cut this today, eventually spray it, I'm going to plant here, probably rye because I've never planted this. I don't know what the soil's like, so I'm going to go with rye. I might put forage oats first and then go with the rye layered a couple different times, two weeks apart. And I'm going to step aside. Not sure how well you can see through there, but I've cut an opening beyond where the weeds are here. I have two apple trees right here. Cut an opening, creating more edge got openings within heavy cover that leads to another small food plot and my stand is just down from it so we've got a trail right here that I'm on it goes out this way wraps around goes to below my stand and then that opens up and there's food plot at small food plot there this path I just cut connects to that so we'll have food here food there I've got food down this path and then another small food plot below that this path goes the whole way around so we've got edge around here we've got openings we've got sun coming in we've got these openings where we're going to plant food along the edges of these openings we'll have uh, early growth types of plants or early successional growth that's the technical term so we've got all sorts of food here we've got food for the fall when that food's gone the rye will stay around for a while but we also have woody browse and out in front of me here we've got a little bit uh, bigger timber anything between probably 5 to 12 inches in diameter so edge is very important because deer are creatures of edge they don't like solid open forests but they don't like thick dense heavy cover they can't move through so the key when you're managing and this stuff takes a long time sometimes you're going to take bits and pieces year after year you may do this for 10 15 20 years and every time you go hunting, you might be sitting in your stand and you say, well, I want to do this or I want to do that. I, I know I do that. And eventually, if you get an eye for it and you learn about these things, you'll want to do it too. And what's the whole outcome? You'll draw more deer. Edge is very important when we're talking about holding deer and maintaining deer on your property. Remember, I'm talking about my homeland here, which is only 12.3 acres. We've had numerous bucks that come through here in daylight hours, starting in October through December, even into January. They come in here, the does come in here, we've got browse for them, we've got fields, agriculture surround us all, but it's pretty quiet in here. We limit our access in here. Matter of fact, myself and my dad are the only ones that's been coming back here probably for the last 10 years plus. So it's very important, edge is very important. You have to understand the concept behind edge. What I want to do is give you a closer look at these switchgrass plantings and maybe walk up through here and, and to see how I developed this opening that leads up to the next food plot. It's sort of like a dumbbell type of uh, design. It's big on this end, narrow through the middle, and then it opens up again. So let's take a look. If you look closely there, I have a stick next to every bunch of switchgrass. Okay? And you can see that throughout there. So let's take a walk. 
got apple trees here too. So we're mixing it up. You want to have a mixed habitat. You don't want what folks call monoculture. All the same thing. We got an apple tree here, we got weeds here. There's an access path through thick cover. This cover, I mean, it's like a wall of vegetation. Now here's the path I just cut today. Okay, and I'm going to plant this. This is a little wider than those other paths that I showed on earlier videos. And this is not for bedding. This is for access to food coming out of this bedding. And this is an area that's about three plus acres. It extends back 300 yards or more. And it's probably, on this end, it's about 75 to 100 yards, about 100 yards wide on this end. And and near this road is about 300 yards in total of over 400 yards deep now we'll walk through here and this will come out and see you've got the light coming in very nicely and I'll plant all this I'll spray it off and I'll plant all this so the deer will be able to come out of their bedding Here's another opening. Deer will come through there, there's bedding, there's bed spots all through there. And then, you see how that opens up? I've got a blind right there. I've got my tree stand up there. Let's just walk out here and take a look at this. But this will be all planted. This is about three steps wide. It opens up a little bit more here. There's actually deer move right into there. There's some bed spots under there. And you can see how this opens up. Opens up into a nice area where deer can feed. See how tall that blackberry is. That's my screening. All natural, never had to plant this stuff. This stuff's like nine feet tall already. And it stays up all winter long. It's really no lower than four or five feet in the winter time. Even when it snows, the blackberry stays up because this stuff is, I mean, it's years after years after years of blackberry growth. Got some good plants in here too. Obviously deer browse blackberry, but this is elderberry. And you can see right here, if you look at the tip of my finger right there, deer were browsing that and they'll browse that in the winter. Got to get rid of this type of stuff. This is a Chinese sumac, or sometimes called tree of heaven. There's nothing heavenly about it. Very invasive species. And back to where my blind is there, and got a game camera there, and my licking vine. You see how this opens up. Deer can exit that way, corn over there, thick heavy cover over there, they go around this way, there's no dead ends people, can't have dead ends. So I hope you, hope you learned something today about edge and how you can create it yourself and the deer will use this. Somehow I have to figure out how to post, I'm new to this, post pictures, I know how to post videos obviously, but if I can post still pictures, because I get a lot of still pictures of deer using the licking vine and uh, coming into these areas. So until next time, take care. And remember, you can create your own habitat. You can draw deer to your property. Look me up, look at my info, look at my about information. I can help you. Contact me, thanks.